I wrote a catchy intro song of things you do to help me To sync up with the algorithm, this is what it sounds like Like, leave comments, subscribe, and hit that dang bell Today we're going to talk about brute forcing the parental controls on an Xbox 360 because you bought it used and they didn't factory reset it like they should have. So what you have to do, there are 10 possible inputs for the passcode. So using the uh, Excel tutorial that I followed, I'm going to stick it in the description. I created four tables of digits 1 to 9 and a 0 in there. And then I joined them all together in the query editor in Excel, and then it created the um, 10,000 combinations you need. So that gives us our CSV that we need to uh, then search and replace the digits with the input directions. So left trigger, right trigger, all of that. And you just go into Notepad and uh, search and replace. Then you have 10,000 different inputs you can try for the passcode. So, we're gamers, we're used to the grind, so we're just going to plug through all of them and uh, make it happen. And that's it for this video. The other one I'm going to talk about is I'm going to take these input strings and program them in the Cronus Zen. And then I'm going to make the Cronus Zen apply all of the inputs for me and then try and detect the passcode. That's going to be a different video. I'll probably add some B-roll of how I join the tables together and search and replace the notepad and all that good stuff. Um, but that's it. I forgot to mention my use case for this um, 10,000 passcode combination. So the uh, console that I received pre-owned was... Uh, something's wrong with the hard drive or the system itself because you can't do a normal factory reset on it. You also uh, can't change the settings. They don't last through a boot cycle. So if I turn off uh, the parental control and then I reboot the system, all of the settings come back up with the old passcode and everything. So uh, my case is very specific to my problem. And uh, I saw some videos with the USB a uh, little microcontroller board that can pass the 10,000 inputs through as well. So that may be your better option if uh, you know you're able to save settings when you power it off and power it back on. Uh, so continue watching me put in these codes. And I was very lucky that it was 193 and not, you know, 2,560. Uh, the average time it took me to input, this whole thing took me about 15 minutes, so it's about 200 codes in 15 minutes. We'll do a little bit of math, and I'll put it on screen how long it would have taken me to do the 10,000 codes. I wrote a catchy intro song, the things you do that help me to sync up with the algorithm. This is what it sounds like. Like, leave comments, subscribe, and hit that dang bell. All right, so 193 combinations, not bad. Uh, turns out the secret password was cookies. I tried cookie last night and it didn't work. I also tried pizza and uh, those were not correct. So I'm going to stick the text file on my website, haydenjonesmusic.us and uh, I'm also going to let everybody just see it and use it. As you can see, you just take notepad and you go down the side and make your way through it. It's only going to be difficult if you uh, have the family timer set on. You may only be able to do a certain number in a session, but you'll get there eventually. Okay, hit like, get subscribed, all that stuff that I said in the song at the beginning. Thanks for watching.